2 Corinthians 10, 4, and this is what it says. It says, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. What's carnal mean? It means flesh. Like chili con carne is like chili with meat. Carne means flesh if you're a carnivore. The weapons of our warfare, they're not carnal. They're not fleshly. They're not natural. No, they're spiritual. We're talking about a spiritual battle here, and he's going to move into the spiritual metaphor. Of course, he's not talking about fighting a physical fight. He's talking about a spiritual fight, and he says that these weapons with which we war, they're not carnal. He says they're spiritual. He says that they are dunamas theos, that they are mighty through God. Mighty dunamis, where we get the word dynamite. Dynamite! Right. You're from the 70s, you know what I'm talking about. They're mighty through God. Does anybody want some mighty weapons for the battle against the powers of darkness? Okay, I would think that you would. Well, look no further. It tells you right here that these weapons which God gives us spiritually, they're mighty through God, and this is what they do. They do four things, and I'd love for you to write them down because this is going to help you when you get into the midst of the valley of the shadow of death. One, they're mighty to the pulling down of strongholds. That's number two, not only tear down the strongholds, but cast down imaginations. Number three, every high thing that exalts itself against God. Number four, it says bringing into captivity every thought. Let, let, let's just wrap it all up, y'all. Every thought to the obedience of Christ.